Good evening, everyone. We'll give it just a minute or so for folks to hop on. We've got a few things to cover tonight, which is nice. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Glenda. And two other people are watching. So who are the two other people? Hi, Kelly. Hi, Carol. I think I got that right. Yeah, there we go. Hello, Hope. I think you're new to my Facebook channel. Hi, Paula. Hi, Connie. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Belinda. Hey, Linda. Good evening, everyone. Hello, Gloria. So I, when I did this card this after or this morning, uh, and I decorated it. I, um, uh, hi, Mary. I then looked at it this afternoon and had to add just a few other items. Hi, Sue. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Vicki. Good evening to everyone. Thank you so much for joining. So here's this inside. I use the designer series paper. We might as well, right? Hi, Shannon. Hi, Jeanette and Janet. Very nice to see everyone on here. Tonight, the giveaway is going to be this pack of memory and more um, cards. I'm cleaning out my craft room. And these cards, oh, let me get it, get them out of here. I had them out before and they, you know, you can't fit them all back in. Hi, Donna. Hi, Janie. Um, maybe if I go from both sides. But this memories and more pack is really, really fun. We had these, um, of course they're retired. Oh my goodness, I can't get it out of the box, right? How can I ship this if I can't get it out? And then again, it could be my hands. Okay, here we go. Okay, so these packs of cards, and we still have um, things like this, but they are fantastic for card making because like here we have some little bit of vellum on there. What does that say? Together. And a little bit of white um, with kind of a little dots of a sunshine there. Oh, and here are some cards that you can punch out. Oh, thank you. Hi, Pauline. Hi, Mary. Thank you. Thank you so much. So there's a lot of things in here that you can use for your card making to put on cards. Here's some fall like, oh, look at how pretty those are, right? But this is retired. I'll get it back in that box somehow, some way. I will get it back in the box. And um, if so when I was, here's another piece of vellum, sweater weather. That's nice, right? Lazy days of summer. So this should take you through, you know, a, doing a lot of things in your craft room. Oh, here's some more vellum. Isn't that fun? That's a lot of fun. Hi, Esther. Let's see. Hi, Karen. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. Okay, so this is what the giveaway is tonight. I will attempt to get this back in this box. That Hi, Chris. Um, and, and so, <laughs> how funny. Uh, yeah, it's like once you take something out, you can't put it back in. So let's just go ahead and choose somebody. Let's see who we have in here. Linda Wallace Wood. Hi, Georgianne. Linda Wallace Wood. I will go ahead and send that to you. Okay. And that is our giveaway. These are so cute. Let me show you some happy mail that I got. This is so cute from a customer of mine, Ann. Isn't that pretty? She colored all of this. And look at that, um, how glittery it got all through it. I guess she used maybe some Wink of Stella or a gel pen. So that was really nice. Then... Um, there here is another card. Isn't this beautiful? This is a gorgeous card. And I believe how this Merry Christmas, I think that's embossed on there. Hi, Mary. Yay, Linda. Let's see, 18 Thanksgiving, Carol. Wait, I have made 18 Thanksgiving cards and putting them in the mail. Yes, I know. Oh, thank you for sharing. So here, look at how pretty that is with the gold. Isn't that beautiful? And then um, my... Upline sent me this card right here. 
and um, I had a fantastic year. I placed first in sales uh, for all of her downlines. So I was very happy for that. I can't do something like that without you guys. Hi, Jane. Hello. Nice to see you. So here um, I got that card. And then from um, one of my customers, Sue, I always show her cards because she um, stitches them. This is all stitching. Isn't that beautiful? Now these little leaves are um, cut out, but all of this is all, it's almost like a silk stitching. So I thought, I love the way that swoops around like that. Isn't that pretty? So there's that. And then, oh my goodness, like I said, I was cleaning out my craft room and um, cleaning stuff up. And from my little pen pal, um, Kay, the, she did boo. This was from all the way back from Halloween, okay? But look at how she did the O's with the spiders. Isn't that cute? So that was some happy mail that I got. And it got stuck under something. And when I found it the other day, I was like, oh my word, I have not shown that card. So there's some happy mail. Okay, now as I was cleaning out the craft room, um, I also have these Project Life. This one is Moments Like This, and um, I'm going to go ahead and sell these. I've only used like one sticker, maybe out of them, but you even get the Project Life pen. There's all kinds of little embellishments in here, washi tape, and then this has some um, paper clips and sequins. And there's some washi tape down there. It's really almost the whole entire kit of this one, for sure. Now, I have to stick this in a priority envelope, okay? And these priority envelopes, the bubble pack, is $8.55, okay, to ship. So um, I would sell this then, if you would like it, for $15. That's like $7 to me. Um, and you can email me at joannemaddie at outlook.com and tell me that you'd like this. And it's $15, I'll do a PayPal invoice, or if you want to send a check or a money order is fine. And then I have this one, Let's Get Away. So I have two of them. This also has washi tape and paper clips and little um, embellishments right there. And it comes with the pen. And um, most of all of, uh, you know, there's all kinds of cards in here. Look at these to do photos. Isn't that cute? if you're gonna travel. So uh, again, it would be $15, and that's with, with the shipping included in it, because the shipping, I'm sorry, it, this, because it's so large, has to go in that bubble pack, and that is $8.55 into the bubble pack. So um, $15 for each, each of those, and just email me at joannemaddie at outlook.com, and I'll be happy to send them to you. Hi, Diana. Very nice to see you guys. Oh my goodness, hello, 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 Mary. Hello, hello. Okay, um, so now, on the I am taking the week off. Okay, so I will be back on here on next Sunday. Okay, so, but I'm not taking the week off from my craft room. What I'm taking the week off is from designing and doing videos, okay? So I will still be here. I'm not going anywhere, and I will be working in the craft room some. Uh, I have a lot to, of things to do in the house, but on the 24th, we are having a mega sale, and you guys, okay, I had my labels in the printer, and it just printed on my label, and I was like, okay, I'll just show them what I did, but needless to say, on the 24th, um, Stampin' Up! is having a 10% off sale. This list is posted on this um, Facebook page, okay, and this is the list of what is not on sale, okay, not on sale, the list of what is not on sale right here, okay? Um, I'm just going to kind of hold it right here so that if you needed to look at it or zoom in or whatever, but on this page, uh, I did a post today for the sale, and I also posted this. And again, it, this list is what is not on sale. Everything else in the annual catalog is 10% off. So, which that's wonderful, especially if you're a demonstrator. If you're getting 25%, then with that sale, anything in that annual catalog is going to be 35% off. That's wonderful. Or if you're getting the 20, it's going to be 30% off. So, that's a lot of fun. Now, tonight what I wanted to go through was I have, oh, I had um, a, a downline of mine ask me about these stickers. 
and or making stickers out of the snowflakes. And I was like, well, we could use a Xyron machine or this and that. And then she was like, well, what about those adhesive sheets? I totally forgot about the adhesive sheets and I've never ordered them. So I thought, no, this is great for anything that's intricate. This is what we're gonna do tonight is how to use the adhesive um, sheets. No glue is sticking out anywhere. I love that. You know how like I'll put the Tombow and then we get like um, a little bit of glue, you know, hanging out. We are off to do dinner with the kids. I will watch the, oh yes, Pauline, watch, watch the replay. Oh, I'm catching up, wait. I was looking for your hot cocoa projects from last year. I can't find it. Do you remember what month it was? Um, Sue, I should have done the, um, if you go on my YouTube and in the little search thing, type in hot cocoa, I swear I might have done them in November or December, but I'm definitely going to be doing them shortly because um, a lot of things that I'm focusing on in December is, um, you know, gifts, little gifts. Thank you. Hi, Lucy. So yes, um, that is a good way to find. Hi, Carol. Uh, do you sell discount dies and stamps? Discounted dies and stamps. Um, I'm allowed to sell them when they retire, Georgianne. I'm allowed to sell them, but I don't have any. I don't have any right now. When they retire, I'm allowed to do that. Hi, Laura. So um, the Project Life things are retired, so I'm allowed to sell them. So I forgot about the adhesive sheets. I know, I totally missed this in the catalog and I saw them, I know I ran through them, but I was like, oh my word. Okay, so I wanted to show you this, these two little ones right here, okay, that I have. Now I've already got backing on them because you know how we, sa we save pieces, okay? I just cut, you could see it right here. Um, I just cut like little squares and then cut those snowflakes out and it made a sticker. So I would, so we can, you know, we can do that too. You don't have to have a big piece. Okay, so <clears throat> my little sentiment here, I got, let's see, what are we using tonight? We're using adhesive sheets. We're using so many snowflake dies. We are using tasteful labels dies. That's just where I got this from. And um, the snowflake wishes. We are using balmy blue glimmer paper. And then the Snowflake, um, what is that? Snowflake Splendor? Oh, what's it called? Yes, Snowflake Splendor DSP for the inside. Okay, so th those are the few things that we're using tonight. Um, let me move this to the side and bring what we're gonna do in right here. Our card base is 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half, so it opens like this. Hi, Helen. Um, our DSP piece is five by three and three quarter. And then the piece that we are going to stamp on tonight is just three by four because I wanted more of my DSP to show. So I just cut that at three by four. This is Balmy Blue. It is um, embossed with the snowflake embossing folder, which is so pretty. I was just looking for the Keeping Deer. I thought I had it, but I don't. Yes, oh yeah, I don't have that either, Georgianne. That's nice. I love the deer. I like woodland animals all over the place in the, in the uh, holiday season. I think that's fun. So this embossing folder is the snowflake one, and this is balmy blue at five and a quarter by four. And we're going to pop this up with dimensionals after we decorate it. So let's go ahead and do the inside of our card first and our little embellishment here. We're going to use some balmy blue and just a little bit of Highland Heather just to give us a little bit more color to it. Um, so, and I need a piece of scrap paper right here because we got to stamp off just a little bit. So right here. So um, I've been very busy um, getting my orders out, which are, is fantastic. So um, into the balmy blue, I'm going to stamp it off. Let me put this on here because I'm going to just stamp around it. I want it very light. I want these little snowflakes very light and it comes from our snowflake wishes set these little snowflakes right here so we're just kind of making a little background there just of some snowflakes just like that okay and then we're going to um put thank you snow much thank you snow much isn't that funny that should have been leaping deer yes it should have been you know i think i have um, 
I came across, I was going through some other cards and I came across this one. Is this the deer that you're talking about? Because I loved this deer because I love the antlers. I came across this card the other day and I was like, ooh, I just like that. I love the, I love that. So I just had that out. <laughs> okay, so thanks, thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna do in Highland Heather, just to give it a little bit of color here. Yes, that is the one. Hi, Connie. I knew it. I knew it. Yes, I love that deer. I totally agree. I absolutely love that deer. Okay, so we will pop this up with dimensionals in a few minutes. So let's go ahead and put three of them on here just to get it ready. Just like that. And we put that aside. Okay, now let's go ahead and stamp this. And we're going to stamp in Highland Heather, may your season sparkle. I like this saying, may your season sparkle. So we're gonna put this right here. Beautiful. And then when we cut out our snowflakes, then we'll put them in on there, okay? Let's go ahead and attach this to our piece of DSP, just like that. And remember this piece, um, hey Lisa, hello. Thank you for sharing. So this piece right here, I wanted smaller, so it's three by four tonight. Because I really wanted that, DSP is so pretty. So pretty. So we're gonna put this right here. Looks so plain until we put those snowflakes on it, right? Let's go ahead and bring our card base in. And we'll go ahead and attach this. This is also, you could use either side. It would not matter. Such pretty paper. And I have to admit, I've shied away from these snowflakes because I have a hard time um, with the glue. And then I get glue all over my project. And I have made a few cards on here with them. And then when I'm done, I'm like, oh, I see the glue, you know, or I see the glue dot or this or that. Hello, Marilyn. Thank you for watching. This uh, Is this your first time on this channel with me, maybe? Or on this Facebook page? with me and thank you very much for taking part of your Sunday to be with us. Okay, let me move this aside. I am going to use these blue the blue adhesive back gems. I don't want to forget to do that because my picture from this morning and from what I finished up with because I kept coming in here and looking at it, I was like, oh it needs just a little something and I thought, oh let me put those gems. They were so cute. Okay. Let me bring in this stamp cut and emboss machine. Oh, and let me just get off of the subject for a second. But you guys that have, do paper pumpkin, are you crazy about these? I love these. I absolutely love these gift card holders. I did a little video, it's on YouTube. Well, I posted it on here too, um, about the uh, paper pumpkin for this month. But um, I am gonna do some alternatives because I think some cards with these would look adorable. So. I'll do that maybe while I'm off, play with that. Okay, so just off the beaten path, I had to say something about Paper Pumpkin because I thought it was stinking cute this month. Now this one I already have a piece of um, backing on and we will uh, use our little um, snowflake right here in just a few minutes. But let's go ahead and you know what? Let me just move this. Let's put some backing on that other. Let me move this just over here for just a second. Okay. So, in the adhesive sheets, let's look at how they come. You get 12 of them in here, and the price point is, is quite low on this. Um, I can't really remember how much they are, but I was like, oh, they're less than a dollar a sheet, which is really nice. So, the sheet right here, I have, I've pulled out a few. Okay. The sheet is um, cut into three sections. I agree about showing more of the Snowflake DSP. Oh, thank you. I tried the Tombow Aqua Glue. It's clear. Let's see, what else did she say? And doesn't dry tacky. Oh, that's nice. Hi, Barbara. That is nice. Yes, I, I haven't tried those. Hi, Christy. Thank you for watching. 
Hello, everyone that's new. Hello, Allison. Oh, wait a minute. Allison, I live in Denial. Tell myself the glue. <laughs> I love it. Right? I agree. I agree. That's funny, Allison. That's good. I totally live in denial that I see the glue, right? Okay, so the adhesive sheet, as you can see, it's kind of like broken into three areas. But if you have a larger piece, it's okay to put it on here. It just makes it easy to peel, okay? But I cut a piece of my balmy blue. This is two and a quarter by... Um, where did I cut this at? By five and a quarter, two and a quarter by five and a quarter, right there. I want, I like it to hang over my uh, my adhesive sheet just a little bit. Okay, so so as you can see, there's three. I'm down to two here because I've been playing with it. See right here. And so what you want to do is, I'm actually going to tear this. Okay, or you could use your scissor, but it tears really easily. And it all depends on how big your project is, but this is all that I need, okay? So then I'm going to take off some of my backing here, one side, a little bit. Okay, just peel back. I watched a bunch of vid videos on this yesterday, and then, and then I cut my fingernails and can't do this, right? <laughs> okay, so this is tacky right here, okay? You don't want to pull this all the way off, okay? Leave it like that. I saw one person do it like this. Take your paper and put it over. Then take this and put it on the back of your paper. Okay, look at how easy this is. Pull this down. Isn't that wonderful? And it's right there. See? It's right there. And now cut it off. Because then you have maximized... Your paper, you have not wasted, not, hi Joan, not a, um, not a, a millimeter of it. It's perfect, okay? So here we have that on the back. Okay, now let's go ahead and bring our machine in. And we're going to do a few cuts tonight. So right here, so I've got my snowflakes and I'm just going to place them like this. Okay a little adhesive on my finger okay there Whoop. and where'd my other one go right here okay this little one I'm gonna put it right there okay just to maximize our space right and now we're gonna run it through and I'm going to run it through a couple of times because I really need it to cut through that adhesive backing so I go one way then I'll go another and just to be sure, I'm going to write it through two more times. Hi, Savings Maker. Nice to see you tonight. And we'll come back this way. And I'm probably running it through way too many times, okay? So, but just to make sure, and we're on camera, so I didn't want to have any, you know, bobbles. Okay. I'm just going to start popping these out. Now, look at this. They, they're stickers. They are absolute stickers now. I love this. You can make any die now a sticker. Sometimes with these are intricate, so take it easy popping them out. And if you need to run them back through, you always can if they didn't cut. Let's try to get this one out. Here we go. Here we go here. Good. Let's see about this one. And it's okay. If we have to run it back through, we will. Yeah, I think we need to. Okay. So right there. And I'm just going to run that back through. That one's a little thicker, a little bigger, a little bit more intricate um, with the little parts of the snowflake that um, come off of it. So, and if we need, oh, here it comes. If we needed to, we would have shimmed it, but this is perfect. Just needed another couple of times through. Be careful. Don't tear the snowflake, right? Oh, here we go. Okay, now. Let's leave this here, and I need to cut more of these guys. And we only have one of those, so we'll have to cut a few. Oh, you have to go. Yes, please watch the replay, Mary. Always, guys. Hey, it's no problem. Just watch the replay. Yeah. I'm happy you're here. And very much happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Most definitely. Hi, Cindy. 
So here we go here. Isn't that a wonderful way of putting the back on there? So how many do I need? I needed um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is five. Nice. Yes, so on my, I love snowflakes. I just, you know, and really and truly, guys, I have shied away from using this because I'm like, well, I've got snowflake pieces flying everywhere, glue flying everywhere. Let's see, can I get another one in there? Oh, yeah. I love to maximize paper. <clears throat> and if you're a crafter, I know you guys are too. So have a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Yay! Oh, thank you very much, Gloria. Yeah, we've been really busy here. My daughter uh, just moved into her apartment today. Four, five, six. Okay. And now this one I already have some backing on. Seven, eight. Oh, I think I just need one more. Um, so I helped her this afternoon a little bit. Hi, Diane. I love this paper. This is the balmy blue um, glimmer paper. Balmy blue glimmer paper, which to me, you could use this all year round. I just love it. But like for these little snowflakes, it's perfect. Okay. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get two out of that, right? Ooh, if I'd have scooched these up a little bit, I would have. <laughs> Do y'all think the same way? <laughs> Every piece of scrap you can, right? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. It is a cute project, and it's not difficult. Not hard at all. Let's see. I love this paper. I love the balmy blue. I think it's just so pretty. Can I? Can I? Can I? Let's try it. Let's try it. I think I'm going to cut the bottom one off, though, but we'll try. Boy, that would really be maximizing. Oh, did I get it? I did. Oh my goodness, I got them. Ha! Now that is maximizing paper, right? Absolutely right. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, now, if I need to cut another one, I will. I don't think so, though. Okay, so let's bring in this part of the card. And we want to... Um, we want to put our sentiment on first, right down here. Thank you so much. I think that's so cute. Um, let's go ahead and on the inside of the card, I want to put three of these little stickers. So now watch this. You just peel this off and here it is. You No liquid glue, no nothing, no sticky fingers, there. It's like that. So much fun. I really need to get you guys. And let me tell you, on this card, the reason why this one is over here is because I had a little bit of ink get over there. So this is covering up um, a little ink spot. So I am going to put my snowflake over here. How funny. Which it doesn't matter. I didn't have to tell you, but I did. <laughs> and there. Okay, so that is just sparkling down. So stinking pretty. Okay, now let's go ahead and get these guys out of here, out of the dies. And um, we'll use our little tool here. And I'm just going to bust these insides out, just put, poke those out like that. here oh thank you Cindy and here's this one now I'm not going to take the back off yet okay I want to get this one out all of these out so easy e I mean the adhesive sheets I am so happy my little downline asked me about them my little downline Kathy asked me about them and then I started thinking and she we were talking about these snowflakes and she was like yeah the adhesive sheets I was like <laughs> Okay, yes, of course. Okay, so now this one's going to go up here. Okay, now watch this. 
we just have to and like I said I cut my fingernails but I'm still getting them right off look at this isn't this fun this actually is very fun to peel look at that this is a full sticker everything has glue on it everything and we're going to put it right here isn't that lovely nothing sticking up I love it I love it fantastic for mailing fantastic for mailing okay this one I'm going to put here and again we have our backing I highly recommend those sheets hi Anita thank you for watching right there oh I love this and then we're gonna put this one here just like that now let's peel this one and this is now all you do it's just like playing like us in a sticker book now after you've made all your stickers and you know um, I was thinking of um, what is that the ornate garden don't they have, that has like really really intricate um, dies and I thought oh my goodness this would be perfect absolutely perfect for um, using that we'll stick that one there let's see here anything intricate this is amazing so easy look at how nice they are so flat hi Millie thank you all everyone new watching I appreciate it Thank you so much for and being with me on a Sunday evening. Thank you. And having fun doing a little crafting, a little tip with some adhesive paper to make our life in this craft room just a little bit easier. I have one more here, here. Oh, I might should have dropped that one down a little bit. Maybe I'll put it here. Should I even put it at all? Maybe not. Maybe that doesn't need it. So let's go ahead and put it on the inside, right? Well, if we have one, we might as well use it. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, you, these sticky sheets, I'm on it. I'm like, oh my word, I love them. Okay, so there, the inside got an extra and that's out there. Let's go ahead and bring in our little gems here. <clears throat> on the larger ones, I want to use the bigger ones. Right here and then I'm going to use these smaller ones now I didn't use the iridescent or the darker iridescent they're kind of both iridescent I'm using just the blue over here so yeah I'm taking I'm just taking the week off of doing videos and um, and doing my lives and that kind of thing but I will still be working in this craft room getting ready definitely for next month and finishing up this month oh my goodness that is so stinking pretty oh I love it okay now we're gonna go ahead and flip this and let me make sure I've caught up on everything sorry for my finger in the comments yep we're good okay now what we have weight on this guys okay so let's put our dimensionals on there three across In three rows of three across because we've got a little bit of weight on there now you can always use some paper you know darker paper to go behind this but I thought the white looked pretty with this because I really wanted to focus on that balmy blue paper so pretty Linda Frankston hello Millie Thompson and Linda Linda Frankston it's hello everybody hello everyone and thank you for joining me oh look at this this is so pretty so pretty whoop I wasn't ready okay <laughs> okay right there oh my oh that is just gorgeous I just love that and our snowflake problem with our um glue is solved absolutely solved and many many other 
um, sets. That solves a lot of problems right there. We're going to do our envelope with our little snowflakes right here. In balmy blue. Just like that. And here's our card for tonight. Looks like it, it, this is a must try. Yes, Lynn is actually right. The sheets are a must try. It is not difficult at all to use them. They are very easy. Just peel one piece back. Go for it. There is our cards for this evening. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. So cute. I just love it. Thanks again for watching, guys. I will be back here next Sunday at 7. Um, but I'll still be in the craft room. If you have any questions, I'll be here to answer any questions. You can always email me. Everyone have a wonderful, safe, and happy Thanksgiving. Um, and that's what, exactly what I'm going to do is have a wonderful Thanksgiving with my family and um, be with my kids and just have a good time and do a little work around this house and a bunch of work in this craft room. I have a few things coming up for next month for you guys, and I really want to give it my utmost attention. I, sure, I hope that you will try this. I hope that you guys will think about adding, adding these adhesive sheets to your craft room. Um, let me get the catalog. Let me just run over here. Okay. And get the catalog and let's see how much are they because you get 12 of them where are they here they are 12 for 10 bucks so there you go 12 for ten dollars I think that is a wonderful wonderful um, buy and um, as you can see you can cut them down you can use them big you can use an entire sheet you could put this all, you know, if you were doing a lot of cutting on a um, 12 by 12 sheet, you could back the whole thing if you wanted to. So I think that's wonderful. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful holiday, guys. And I will see you next Sunday at 7 with a beautiful project. Thanks again for watching. And please do some happy crafting.